Jaime, Jaime, Jaime. All these different pronunciations, and rarely do I get the correct version of my name called out. I feel like Hermione Granger with it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Except for for me, it's Jamie, not Jaime. Many individuals struggle to succeed just because of the name they're given at birth. My parents considered that before naming me so that I would never have to face the same prejudice that my mother had to face. Outside of my parents, others that have influenced my life have been my grandparents and my six-month-old puppy. Children often shape their values and beliefs from those of their parents. In my household, family, commitment, and ambition were of major importance. My family raised my brother and I to be family-oriented and to put family before everything else. They also taught us of commitment. If we were committed to something, we would have to follow through with it. There was no quitting or putting in partial effort. When my mother was first starting to work, she would receive judgment before walking into the interview just because her name was Wendy and she was a female. Therefore, my parents decided to give me a gender-neutral name so that I would not be compared to my male counterpart. With a gender-neutral name, it allowed me to chase my dreams and follow in my ambitions without the fear of judgment before interviewing because I was a female. My parents worked hard so that I could afford every and any opportunity to succeed with my life. That included finding a way to pay for tuition for my dream school TC, which is not a cheap school. With my parents, or without my parents, I do not think I would have been able to handle the rough times with dealing with my anxiety and depression. Their support, even from hundreds of miles away, was the only reason that helped me through the difficult times. Although I have a lot to thank them for, they wouldn't be here without my grandparents. My maternal grandmother and paternal grandfather were an additional support system in my life. They both taught me of the importance of a smile, and they showed me genuine happiness and comfort. Everything changed when I was in their presence. They were my best friends that I could have many fond memories of and could go to for everything. Their deaths played a large role in who I have become today, too. Both of their deaths brought the need of imp positive memories to my attention. For the longest time, I would only remember the negatives of feeding my grandmother on her deathbed and missing my grandfather's call just weeks before his sudden death. Just like my grandparents, or just like my parents, they have made sure to help support my brother and I to give us every opportunity they could have given us. Both my grandparents were animal lovers, and I know they would have loved my puppy if they were still alive today. My six-month-old puppy, Scout, has, brought my, has been in my life for only a short amount of time. However, she has influenced my life greatly. She has taught me my patience, and comp compassion, and how to care for another individual. As someone who is constantly battling depression and anxiety, Scout has helped me to control and manage it. She is my own official therapy dog. She has taught me of unconditional love and loyalty that a dog brings to their owner. She senses when my anxiety is kicking in and will lick away my tears when I cry. The love I have for her is the same love that I assume a mother would have for her own child. Each individual, including Scout, has shown me how to love. Everyone who has been in my life has influenced me to be the person I am today, whether it was a positive or a negative influence. Yet my parents, grandparents, and Scout have influenced my life greatly to be the person I am today through their support and love. Each one has played different roles in my life, but have all shown me how to love.